I have another great group of games to go over, mostly from June releases. I played everything from survival games to Grand Theft Auto clones. Yes, as you can tell, this is July, so I am a little late, but these games are still great. Maybe my best crop in a while, pound for pound. Uh, so let's check out some hot new indies, beginning with Frogue. Frog is a funny play on the roguelike genre. You are a literal frog who is going into a cursed castle to seek out treasure. You do not control your hero traditionally, instead move around rooms almost like a tactical RPG. You can move to floors, walls, ceilings, and remain stationary until you or your enemies move next or, you know, bounce around. You can attack as well, obviously, and various bonuses will appear in rooms to beef up your stats. Rewards in the long run are a bit less common, so it's a hard game to be sure. I like the tactical feel of Frog, but it also never got its tongue wrapped around me, and I uh, don't mean that in a thirsty way. Uh, let's awkwardly move on to Nine Souls, which is a Metroidvania with a striking art style. The game begins with the hero, Yi, being portrayed by someone who looks like they could be Yi's master. I won't spoil anything if that's true. Anyway, Yi eventually is saved by a young boy, uh, I may butcher this, Xuan Xuan, and time passes as Yi makes a full recovery. Xuan Xuan then invites Yi to an ancient ceremony, which turns into a sacrificial event for Xuan Xuan. Yi saves Xuan Xuan and goes underground to find out what's really going on in this village to prevent senseless child murder from happening again. That's a lengthy setup to a relatively simple premise. Go into an underground facility and explore. Gain experience through killing enemies, which then gets converted into skill points. Grow Yi's abilities at save points, and move on to get new powers to help with traversal. It doesn't do anything new for the genre, but it is a solid metroidvania nonetheless, with its most striking feature being its art style. Let's move on to easily my, spoiler alert, favorite of the bunch, Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip. It is a nonsensical game about jumping into an open world city and just having fun. The story follows the titular Terry who just wants a job to get a car. But he doesn't want to work or get money, he just wants a car. Other NPCs will give you tasks like collecting parts, bugs, and so on, as is typical in a non-linear platformer in an open city. The driving is sound along with the movement and jumping ability of Terry, but what I dug the most was the humor. The pacing and delivery of the dialogue are great even though characters just mumble through lines. Terry is the best as a deadpan protagonist who is a borderline sociopath. It's a great juxtaposition in a world that is bouncy and lively from the music to the art style. Terry just does not belong, and that's great for a game all about him. The fact Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip is on PC platforms only is a crying as I'm sure the Switch audience would eat this up along with all other platforms. Finally, we have V Rising. It is a newer PS5 game that originally launched into early access in 2022 for the PC platforms. It fits the bill as an early access game, as it is a survival-based, you know, adventure, but there is plenty of action too. You wake up as a lowly vampire, customize said vampire, and then the game follows your rise to power. Kill enemies, collect bones and trees, craft new gear, make new buildings, and so on. The loop is easy to fall into, and it can be played with other people too. The most interesting feature of V-Rising is that there is a day-night system that will kill players in the sunlight. There is a lot to learn in V-Rising, but no one said being a vampire would be easy. For a survival game, I can see the appeal, but it never fully sank its fangs into me. That's right, I made a pun about a uh, vampire biting me <laughs> and a frog licking me with a huge tongue. Uh, but that is going to do it for me. Again, yes, Tiny Terry, that is my pick of the litter but all these games are fairly solid frog and v rising you know i didn't uh absolutely love but i just do think they're good and you know slightly higher than that i would say nine souls but uh yeah give these a shot if they sound interesting and thank you as always for watching and i will see you all next time